முருகடாட்சம் வணக்கம் யூ பீப்புள் ஆர் நாட் பீப்புள் நாட் ஹியூமன்ஸ் சீரியஸ்லி யூ பீப்புள் ஆர் பிளடி ஏலியன்ஸ் சீரியஸ்லி விச் மீன்ஸ் நாட் த ஏலியன் விச் யூ ஹாவ் அஷ்யூம்ட் இன் த பாஸ்ட் ஏலியன் மீன்ஸ் யூ பீப்புள் ஆர் லைட் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் If you really want to know the value of the soul, you must know it and then you must see it and then you must realize it. There is much difference between see it and realize it. This is completely about reincarnation. There are many proof which are all saying that reincarnation is true. Western countries are saying it often that reincarnation is really a true you must know it you must value it if i use my body and the soul and my knowledge in a improper way in a wrong way i will get the reincarnation in a very very bad scenario you get it in this way you can easily connect that why these people are suffering a lot in the roads why these people are begging in the roads why the people are not getting the mom why the people are getting more diseases why the people are getting so much irritated why we are not blessed the only reason is you didn't use your body soul and mind in a proper way which is called dharma dharma means dharmam you get it this body was given to you to use in a right way to get enlightened and reach the divine that is called moksha or mukti when you go out of the body you will see your body and then only you will realize that you are not a bloody body you will come to know that you are a soul soul is also called as divine the popular saint arut perum jodi valalar say it as arut perum jodi which means it is the fundamental supreme energy which is giving the fuel to the all living creatures around the universe not only in the earth you got it when i connected the dots in my past life i got all my answers beautifully such a grace of divine such a grace of gurus i got all my answers and i am just living my life very peacefully and very happily that this life is not only to enjoy the happiness i am not saying that you shouldn't enjoy the happiness i am saying that you must enjoy the happiness you must know what is happiness but the real happiness is not in this material things you have to spend the money or you have to spend your knowledge to impress a woman or impress a man or to get the material i am not telling lie i am not such a person who telling lie to impress someone because if i speak you will get impressed i don't need to tell lie you get it even if i want to save you at that kind of time you must have proper punya by book it is not about malaysian or indian law it is fundamentally about divine law if i really want to save you at that kind of time you must have proper punya or else we cannot help you i will beat you like anything at that time seriously i really wish that you should again get up and go to the work and leave this world but the thing is but the sad truth is we cannot assure it right am i right or wrong the people who are living a single life are blessed beings i am very damn sure about it but i am not saying that you shouldn't get marry if the god is blessing you to not get marry then you are a blessed being but if you really have the intention to get marry blessings to you because i am not saying marriage is a sin i am not saying marriage is wrong marriage is called 1000 years responsibility not 100 or 200 years it is 1000 years responsibility those who are not ready to take the responsibilities then don't get married because you will stuck up you will get irritated you will become mad you will go crazy and you will die for sure i am not saying about the die that will come later i am saying about the daily dying each and every minute dying 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 then your dying is dying will become your biggest part of your life can you understand 
you are getting the babies you are conceiving a baby and giving birth to the baby you are teaching something to the baby what kind of nonsense is this you itself don't know anything about your life what are you teaching to your baby i'm not saying i know everything but i know what should know the property which was given to you by the grace of almighty is biggest trap bloody trap the beauty which was given to you by the grace of almighty is a bloody trap the influence and the power which was given to you by the grace of almighty is also called another biggest bloody trap everything is a bloody trap you people are really great you souls are really blessed because the sutta jnana is coming forward to you to reach the enlightenment it is really hard to get the human birth because the creature which is having a straight spinal cord only can realize the divine or else other living creatures cannot realize the truth cannot see the god cannot realize the god you get it in that way in that sense we are blessed beings who are having a straight spinal cord to see the divine and to experience the divine to examine the divine and to mingle with the divine how how sweet is it so we must know the value of it we must understand it and we must follow this path i am not saying you must follow only my path i am not saying like that we must escape from this bloody maya our bloody illusion the things which you are seeing the people who are all you seeing all are fake and all are illusion i cannot express in words i cannot say in words because i couldn't say it in words the reason is it is beyond the words the greatest saint vallalari is saying this is called unak kangal which means this eyes won't show you the truth it will give you more irritation the thing is all about to know the wisdom eyes the tool which is called yogam is to given to you to kill the mind but the thing is if you really want to enjoy this world there should be a mind but if you are going to kill the mind means how the mind will accept will you accept same like that you are going to take a weapon which is called yogam which is called also called as parambur yogam which is going to kill your bloody mind in the starting the mind will accept but at the point of time it will come to know that i am getting demolished that i is called mind that i is called memories at the point of time each and every memory will start to vanish when you continuously and consistently do the yogam you get it the people and the parents and the teachers are saying you to get the marks and get the rank they are not telling you to get the happiness i am seeing millions and billions and crores and crores of money with more people they are literally begging for the happiness and literally they are begging for peace with me literally they are begging i am easily giving it to everyone but the people are not understanding you people are thinking that at the point of time you will learn some money you will learn millions and millions of rupees millions and millions of ringgits and you will get the happiness 5 minutes of condolences to you even if you earn the money even if you become the prime minister of this malaysia you won't get the happiness you will not get the happiness because happiness is not about the bloody world material things fundamentally is all about the happiness is fundamentally all about inside seeing inside understanding inside and managing inside which means where is that inside where is that inside inside it is all about within i am not asking about the property in this material world i am asking about the property for your atman which is called soul or spirit who is the creator if there is a creation then there must be a creator right am i right or wrong if there is a creation then there should be a creator right you people are worrying you people are examining you people are exciting about only about the creation but you people are not worrying about the creator 
why the creator created all these creations because to make you understand that all the creations of the essence of the creator but the creations won't give you happiness at any time at the moment when you come to know that happiness is not about the worldly material things you will immediately go towards the path of divine first you must start to live in the feel of feeling all other living beings named humans and also called as other creatures in a same way you must approach each and every creature in a same way even if i won't expect the thanks you must say the thanks right but you are not saying the thanks by getting the pose and going back sometimes you are staring at me like this why because you are just thinking that i was the person i am the person who stole your purse you are counting your money you are seeing everything and staring at me like this in the same way the god is seeing you but you are not showing your gratitude towards the divine is it really good is it really good is this manners do you have a manners seriously then how many times did you say thanks and sorry to the people how many times you say thanks and sorry to the divine you are living in this world getting the air from the divine getting the water from the divine you are getting the energy from the ground you are getting the food from the divine you are getting everything from the nature but you are not showing your gratitude see what kind of cruel person you are why should nature should give you more why this nature should give you more from tomorrow itself the panjabudas will start to do the strike i won't give the air i won't give food i won't give water fire i won't give akash i won't give anything if the panjabudas start to do the strike will you accept you cannot accept because you will die how will you accept it is our fundamental responsibility to live in this world with the utmost gratitude and utmost mercy you are giving birth to your child you are giving the birth to your babies and teaching something like what are you teaching the mathematics the science without mercy without love without love without care without affection if you are showing some mathematics with some numbers means what is the use of it what is the fundamental use of it he will go he will go more cruel like you he will go more mad same as you like you lost everything your child will lost everything because you didn't teach them mercy because you don't know what is mercy you are teaching your child like see kid you must understand you are having only 10 to 20 ringgits in your purse keep it safe keep it safe keep it safe you are always saying keep it safe at that time your child is thinking the oh i must keep it safe which means i shouldn't give it to anyone you must teach your child like if you are seeing someone on the road or someone is really in the need don't worry the god will give you more when you in the intention of giving something some ringgits to the person who are really in the need did you teach that did, did you really teach that i'm asking you did you really teach that your s yes is saying more stories behind that enough this world is enough of having multi millionaires billionaires and bloody people who are having money influence and all this world in the need of more healers more healers more caretakers more lovable persons more fun loving person more comedians to heal the people this world in the need of more motivational speakers because you need healing you really don't know what is called healing you people are in more sin and doing many immoral activities and getting depression stress and more and more and more and more where it will take you graveyard are you ready 
you are earning more sins you are seeing only the color paper which is called currencies bloody currencies you are seeing only the currency but you are not seeing the sins behind it can you understand at the time when you come to know the currencies won't give you the life then you will come to know the god is ultimate at the time the god won't help you because you have crossed so far you have crossed your threshold limit at the time no one will come you, come and help you because only in the moment and only in the mentality of helping others and giving others then only the god will come all the way to help you the people who don't have a helping mentality the god won't come and help you because the fundamental truth about the world and nature is give and give more without expect anything in return what give and give more without expect anything in return such sacrifice by a devotee what such sacrifice by a devotee that enslaves god what did you give sometimes before some years i gave something same like that the god will give you something after some years because what you seed you will reap the good thing and a bad thing won't come you just like that it is the reaction of the thing which you did in the past it may be past janma also you get it the whole world is going inside the chakra called kala chakra what is that kala chakra in tamil we say it kala chakram the whole chakra the whole wheel is getting operated by a main point which is called dharma even if you do the bad things in the starting time you may grow big you may earn millions but at the point of time you will come down if you don't know how to balance it without jnana or without wisdom you cannot handle it you will commit suicide for sure because all this year you were lev- lived with many girls you were lived with many boys you were lived with lamborghini you were lived with big house you were lived with banglas and everything you get it because you have the money just money i mean color paper but you really don't know how this money came you know at the point that this money was came from a bad things immoral way in outside world it may seem like you are living a richest life but richest life is not about the money not about the pride the richest life is all about the way of living with the utmost health utmost care utmost divine support and utmost divine grace that is called a healthy and richest life this world had already seen many millionaires and billionaires with more money but at the end they came to know that money is nothing happiness is only the thing but i didn't earn any happiness in my life because i have counted only the numbers do you really think the money will end money means numbers numbers are infinite do you think in your uh, 100 years of life span this money this longing for the money will end will end it won't end once you go out of the body you will come as a ghost and you will keep safeguarding your properties like this no one will come to help you seriously not a joke at the moment of dying if you think about the girl you will get the next birth for the girl at the moment of dying if you think about the money the next birth you will get for the money at the moment of dying if you think about the property the next birth you will get for the property at the moment of dying if you think about some some other highest places or influential places 
our biggest positions like pm cm or something like that you will again get the birth for that at the moment of dying if you really think about the god you will go to the god that is called moksha but do you think at the moment of dying i will easily think about the god you think like that you cannot think like that because at the moment of dying within 5 to 10 minutes of lifetime the last 5 to 10 minutes your all karmic deposits will go as visuals continuous visuals at the time you cannot think about god if the previous karmas are in good karmas you will go away very happily your soul will go away very happily if you did very very bad karmas very very bad sins that pain will go as visuals that visuals will give you unexpected pain that cannot be explained in words at the time how will you think about the god did you practice for that then to die peacefully also you have to practice make note of it mark my words to die peacefully also you must practice to think about the god you must practice to live in the path of god you must practice to say the god name you must practice even to say the god's name you must have his divine grace avan arulale avan tal vanangi i know this is very very hardest path but there is no other option even if you leave me now and going out and going to your home pub or something wherever you go you just go and do all of the things what you need i'm not saying anything wrong but the thing is you will forget everything because if this is your 40 years old time all these past 40 years you were thinking about something like babies kisses sex food something like that and everything you were thinking in that way immediately you are coming to moksha or mukti mean how it will come is this a joke your whole each and every cell should be replaced by the name of divine which means you have to think the god daily each and every minute the yogam will give you that kind of confidence to achieve anything in this world but even if you have the power and capacity of achieving all other material things in this world you must have a guts and vairagya to reach the divine because see you are living a poor lifestyle and i am giving you the yogam when you do the yogam continuously you will have the focus to achieve something okay once you get the focus and the confidence of achieving something at the moment of time everything will come to you the money the fame and everything will come to you in your respective fields but you will easily start to forget the god do you know why because all this year you didn't enjoy it now it is coming all the way to you even at that point of time you must have a vairagya and confidence to leave all other things and follow the god see what kind of triple trap it is can you understand my point you get it 25th of march again we are going to conduct a class at jb city johor bahru malaysia if you really wish to get the diksha i am going to touch you and activate certain points to activate and awaken the kundalini at that point of time you will feel something and get connected to the divine if you really feel that it is good for your health and family and travel towards the divine then you can easily go and enroll your name and you can come and attend the class and get the diksha after that there are no nothing called second diksha third diksha fourth diksha that is only one diksha that is enough for your life long okay and then further the only work and only responsibility of yours is practice 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 clear